everyone, Rachel from The Confused Mom here. Welcome to my channel. I typically share baby and toddler product reviews, activities, and Montessori at home tips, but this week we're doing it a little bit differently. We all have had a stomach bug for a week. It took us out one by one, thankfully, not all at once. Some other life stuff has been going on where YouTube has fallen to the wayside. So in today's video, I'm going to do a Kohl's and H&M summer toddler boy and girl clothing haul for you guys, as well as just a little life update at the end because I left you guys hanging back I think in December or November after we sold our house and we were just traveling all around Florida trying to figure out where to live. So this little girl has very patiently been waiting to open her Kohl's bag though. Hey. <laughs> Kohl's has Little Co by Lauren Conrad and it is definitely one of my best kept secrets for cleaner kids clothes. Some of it's GOTS organic certified. Some of it is like a Waco Tech 100 screen. So we already have these pajamas in two other colors, but I love them. They definitely run large, but we are big fans of these. Super cozy, nice, warm. You like these pajamas, right? Mm -hmm. They're like your green and brown ones, just in another color. All right, next up we have sweatshirt. Do you like it? Okay. Is this the one that you picked out? Yeah. One of the things I do let her do is I let her pick out the majority of her own clothes online. I'll usually open a bunch of tabs on my computer and from there I let her choose this one or this one, this one or this one. I'm not like a full almond mom. Clearly my kid's wearing purple, but I do like some almondy thing. <laughs> you like you like that? Oh, the rainbow in the sun? I didn't even notice that. All right. Oh, I did get this one because it was on like super clearance for like, I don't know, four or five dollars. I have no idea who's going to wear it, when it'll fit, but I have a tendency to buy a lot of clothes that's way too big and just hope they grow to it eventually. But this is super cute for the holidays. You like it? For that, that. That's not for dad. I never wouldn't fit into that. She was very excited and insistent upon a couple tank tops and they were doing buy one, get one half off. So this literally costs like... For these two tank tops, I think six bucks. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Very excited about this. This was another one that she picked out. Yes. What do you think? Mm -hmm. You like it? The rainbows. And it has all the different color rainbows. We have yellow, green, pink, blue, inside of the flowers. Oh, these last two I'm the most excited about. So I buy a lot of clothes, typically, like this one, that are easily passed down from her to my son. I would say half of these clothes. Like my son will end up wearing this and this. Obviously not the dress and the tank tops, but I do tend to buy a lot of clothes that can be shared between the two of them. You like that one? Like smiley face? Oh, <laughs> and then our last thing from Kohl's, got like an embroidered peace sign in her favorite color. Purple. I think all of this together, let me look at my receipt. So I got nine items for $92. So that's not bad. Next thing I want to share is our H&M haul, which she's already been wearing some of this stuff this week because she was so excited. We got this cute little butterfly dress. This, she literally had me post on Insta stories because she was so excited about it. A kitty unicorn rainbow bathing suit. I accidentally bought all of these clothes from H&M way too big even with this being too big on her she's still wearing it the shorts she's wearing now and these came in a two pack together so we got those and then we got a couple more bathing suits the bottoms like i said are way too big on her so she's been wearing her bottoms with the top because i accidentally got one size too big but these are super cute and they were only like 10 bucks on sale when i grabbed them now i think they're like 12 dollars i'm telling you like we have a catalog because the house that we're currently staying in they like like really fancy stuff if you guys couldn't tell from our upgraded furniture <laughs> in my recent videos and they get like the minnow swimwear stuff and these bathing suits would literally cost like 50 to 70 dollars on minnow swim and they look exactly like something you would find so stinking cute and literally cost 10 dollars and 60 cents when i bought it on sale oh yeah because we did end up figuring out where we're going next after this house. I started getting some house stuff for us. So this is going to be like to hang up her play silks and stuff. I also kind of on that same note got a laundry hamper for her. And then we're going to use these for toys like around the TV on the first floor of the house. I got two of these. 
And then I got some bathing suits for Cappy. I don't know why I sized up an entire year on my kids' bathing suits. I got him this one and these little like sea creatures one. But again, they're way too big on him. Uh, no swimwear though. I did just find a brand called Rocco Swim and I got these for him. These are definitely my preferred swimsuit for toddler boys. The more board shorty ones, I find really hard to get over their butt sometimes. So this waistband is definitely preferred Bird, but this type of bathing suit tends to get really scratched up in pools. So like these are our pool bathing suits and these are our beach bathing suits. I found this brand called Rocco Swim and they make really cute bathing suits that are super affordable and total competitors for Riley and crew. This is my Riley and crew. And then can you hold this for me? This is the Rocco Swim. Like they legitimately feel the same, look super similar. And these cost 20 to $35, whereas those cost like 45 to $55. Big savings there. I'll link them in the description box too. And that's our summer spring clothing haul for the kids. As far as our life update, we left the house that I filmed our last life update in in Jacksonville and went to another house closer to the beach in Jacksonville only when we got there coming out of all of like the AC vents every single one was black mold we all got really sick like within a day or two of being there the airbnb host was super chill about it but also totally didn't understand mold and so she sent out somebody to go check the roof turns out there was an active leak but like this was way more mold than just an active leak she ended up letting us cancel and refunding because we were supposed to be there for a whole month and when we were in jacksonville we were like really really hopeful we kind of booked it on a whim and then as we were like getting closer to moving there and everything Thing. We got really excited because they just had so much for kids that we really were looking forward to. They had a ton of awesome nature stuff. They had so many nature and Waldorf and Montessori school options. Like they just had literally on paper everything you could want. But, and this may sound really bizarre, but like it was the ugliest beach I had ever been to and it was really cold. We got married just north of Jacksonville and the water is definitely darker than South Florida, but I wasn't expecting brown water. It turns out the St. John's River dumps into the beaches there and so it was just like brown water and I am used to very clear water. I was just like I don't think I'm ever gonna feel comfortable living here with this water and with the beach being such a part of our life where we go every day. So right around Christmas friend Callie from Butt First Coffee connected me with one of her friends, Rachel, from Pinteresting Plans, who lived in this area of the Emerald Coast called 30A. And she ended up finding us this awesome house. And we were supposed to be coming here at the end of January. I ended up texting the landlord and was like, hey, this is what's going on. Can we come sooner? And she was like, yeah, totally. But here's this house's history of mold too, just so you're aware. I felt comfortable with everything she said. And we were supposed to only be here for four or five months when we got here. And we ended up getting Reagan into a school really quickly. So I asked if we could stay through the end of the school year till June 1st. Basically, we got here and this house is insanely beautiful. I literally say I feel like somebody like picked me up and dropped me into like a dream life. We literally walk through a forest to get down to the beach every day. It's just like the craziest thing. It's obviously beautifully decorated. I literally feel like I'm living in a restoration hardware magazine. It's so strange to me. We really struggled with whether or not we wanted to stay here or go to Mexico or Costa Rica and really long, tumultuous, emotionally charged story short. We kind of just realized that a, we should probably go on a vacation to Mexico or Costa Rica before like moving there with two little kids because we moved here and to Jacksonville having never really visited either place and I will say like especially here felt like a really big culture shock for us like we're extremely extremely rural compared to what we're used to it's just a really big adjustment the weather's been a big adjustment people have been a big adjustment everything's been just such a big adjustment not like good or bad necessarily it has taken a really big emotional toll on me and I think the family we were kind of like okay let's just slow everything down because our family is struggling so we ended up signing a year lease not in this house she's selling this house 
now. So now we have to get like furniture and everything. And truthfully, I don't know how I feel about it. As beautiful as this place is, it checks off everything I've ever wanted for raising a family on paper. But I won't lie, like it does feel like there's something missing a little bit for me here. So at this point, we're really just kind of committed to a year. And thankfully, it's a lot easier to visit the part of Mexico we want to go to in this airport. So we're planning on taking at least one, if not two trips this year. And seeing how much of a viable option that actually is and then honestly we may just go back home the market there is starting to cool off a little bit and so much of us leaving these couple years was we wanted the market to rebalance and we're definitely starting to see that a little bit now so pretty much just taking the money from our home sale and just sitting on our hands is really where we're at with our life this has been an interesting adventure and see how it all ends up going although florida South Florida was pretty much underwater last week maybe two weeks ago by the time you guys are watching this so we'll see let me know if there's any specific YouTube videos that you guys want to see and till next time have a good one bye bye <laughs>